So in this video, I hope to talk about the brief uh, concept of uh, saturation with amplifiers and really how much can we amplify a signal. So when we have an amplifier, we just don't have the inputs and outputs as, uh, as I showed in the previous videos. We have a, a power source to power the amplifier and uh, get, produce a much greater output because the energy must come from somewhere. So how do we show that in a graph? So wh what I'm going to have over here is an input voltage that's positive, that with respect to zero, we'll bump it up by V amount. And the, the negative side will then be grounded but being pulled down by V amount. So in other words, this point, assuming it being zero, would be pulled down by V amount, and so it would reach a negative V. Negative V. Because this side has to be a negative V for this to pull, up, to pull it up V amount. Negative V plus V is zero, and we're here at ground. So this side must be negative V. Uh, so with that uh, set... What does it mean for saturation to occur? So basically, assume I have an input, input signal, like this. This input signal will probably be like, I don't know, 0.2V, let's call that. Usually the, the, input, the input signal will be much, 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 much more smaller, like, like almost a million times smaller than the output. But for just uh, showing it on a paper, I just guess it would be better if I can make it a little more, you know, imaginable. So we have the input voltage over here. I have the input voltage over here. And when I amplify this, let me assume that the amplifier will, will amplify by 10 times. So if I amplify this 0.2V by 10 times, I'm going to have 20, uh, sorry, 2V, 2V. And 2V will be something uh, along this line, and then go minus V over here. So how will the amplifier, how will the amplifier produce the output? It's simply going to do as much as it can to amplify the signal until it can't do any more. And then it's going to come back down. And I, although it's supposed to have gone all the way up here, this thing doesn't happen. Because the voltage is not enough to be produced uh, by that much. And so the same would go the other way. It's gonna, uh, the negative side is going to go down. But then it cannot pass V out because there's no voltage that can produce that much. So it's going to be flat. And then it's going to come back. And this is what we call oversaturation. The saturated region is over here. And if it goes anywhere above, it's oversaturated. It will not produce the desired voltage we want. So really, if let's say this was not just 20, let's say it's 200 times, then what we're really having is an amplifier stuck at the maximum V plus and then jumps to V minus and then V plus, more like a square wave. Then what was the need of having a signal to begin with? So we would like, basically in this video, I'm trying to say that we would like to have an amplifier where we can control the amplification with respect to the voltage that we want. And hopefully in the next video when we discuss op amps, is going to make a lot more sense.